What's going on guys, Spencer Clays here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to clean a roof with moss on it. Let's get to it. You can see all this moss that comes from this downspout and just lack of sun up there. Not nearly as much, but still a little bit. Up in the Northern Hemisphere, the, the sun comes from the south. So all the south facing side typically doesn't have that much moss. The north is what doesn't get the sun. So that's where the moss is allowed to grow. So big things, getting rid of trees and debris that, that covers your roof, sunlight, and then chemically treating the roof is how we're gonna attack this. Step one, getting rid of all the debris and as much moss as we can. Then we're gonna chemically treat it, clean out the gutters, and we'll be good to go. So for a more close up view of the moss, this stuff is like, it's hard, I don't know if you can see, but it's quite literally just growing into the roof. So we want to, we really want to make sure that we're moving this so it's not going to eat away at the roof and cause damage. Moss can, can literally take years off of your life. And as you can see, when I'm talking about brushing it, like take a look, this comes off pretty darn easy. Like it's not like we need to like, go crazy with the brush, right? Cause a lot of it isn't really like grown in super deep. And you can see this is just coming off super easily with my hand. Probably sell this at a farmer's market or something. Look at that. Cause like all people will, will, will comment all the time. Oh, you, you should never brush a roof. It, you should just treat it chemically. Well, I mean, you could spray this till the cows come home. It's, it's gonna die, but it's not gonna fall off. Like, trust me, we've been doing this for years. If you don't remove this by like physically remove it, it's just never gonna come off because there's just so much, there's so much rain, debris and trees out here that it's just gonna, debris is gonna pile up, it's gonna grow right back. So we're gonna get rid of all this moss and then treat it. So we'll blow the rest off, maybe brush a little bit of the spots, and then that is just about good enough to treat, and then move on to the other parts of the roof. So we gave it a good solid hour, but some of this stuff, I've almost never seen moss that stubborn. So we're actually just gonna spray it. We got like 90% of it off, so that should be good enough. We're gonna blow everything off, clean out the gutters, and then start treating this. Do some bleach, water, and soap in here. We're gonna spray it down, kill everything up there. We want like a nice spray. We don't wanna go, because we don't wanna go up under the shingles with a direct stream. See everything's starting to turn yellow. That's stuff that we couldn't quite kill earlier, but if we need to, we can always come back, but this should take care of it. Okay. 
All right, guys, and we're back. It's been about two months since we last cleaned and treated this roof. Let's take a look. This moss over here was gnarly. As you can see, we sprayed it, and it's looking pretty darn dead. That stuff's going to brush off super easily. Over here, this, this turned out really well. Uh, it was really gnarly before. Gutters are still looking good. We'll get a little bit of brushing going. Take care of this right away. We probably could have just left this, and it was just going to, like, dust off by itself. But I want to come back and just give it a quick... You can see like pretty much, yeah, some of that stuff is just gonna need to fall off over the next few weeks. But huge improvement. This roof is gonna be looking a lot better even in the next coming months. That's kind of how you just, you know, sometimes if you can't remove the moss, it's just best to chemically treat it and then, you know, go from there. And that's how you clean and treat a roof with moss. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.